Hey guys, um, welcome to this fourth video in this series on reinforcement learning in MATLAB. So in the previous video, we implemented Q-learning from scratch in MATLAB and we solved our environment. So that was good. But then um, in real world, the problems that you will be applying reinforcement learning to are not never this easy. So this was a very simple problem. And even though it was simple, um, Q-learning took time to solve it and also Behind the scenes, I didn't show you, but I had to tune the hyperparameters quite a lot. So uh, so there's a lot of um, tuning that goes into solving a reinforcement learning problem. And also, this was a very easy problem, so we could solve it in a tabular fashion. But then typically, you would need uh, neural networks or rather deep neural networks to solve reinforcement learning problems. That's why uh, it's deep reinforcement learning. Now, that has the added complexity of uh, tuning neural networks. So that's a whole new ball game. So um, it becomes pretty difficult to write algorithms from scratch and then tune them and all that to just to solve your environment. So it's a pretty complicated process. Now, um, wouldn't it be easy if you could just worry about tuning your, so you have an environment and you could just not worry about you know implementing different algorithms and just worry about tuning the hyperparameters or seeing how it works out in your how different algorithms work out in your environment so matlab actually provides you with uh, this reinforcement learning toolbox and it just does that so um so it takes away all the additional details of writing you know different algorithms it takes away all the details of you know, plotting how your um, algorithm is doing and all those unnecessary things that you don't have to put your brain to you just don't have to worry about all that and you can just see uh, you can just go by your business of solving your environment now this is quite important because uh, there are like a lot of state-of-the-art algorithms and if you start to implement one of your own from scratch yours would probably not be the most optimum so it's best to um, leave writing the algorithms to experts or matlab already has like a couple of state-of-the-art algorithms implemented so just use them out of the box you can tweak in the parameters if you wish to and um take it from there so at least so so at the very least, it provides you a very great um, starting step. So you don't have to, you know, write things from scratch. And um, uh, my goal for the rest of the series is basically to solve the same environment using uh, the reinforcement learning toolbox. But since my previous video was humongous, I'm going to make this one short and just give you a quick intro of this toolbox. So now, um, I'm using, so right now I'm using uh, R2021A, which just came out recently. So um, if you're not using 21A, download it and install it if you can, because it has this reinforcement learning app. So let me see if I can. Uh, yeah, sorry about this air sound. I need to get a muffler for my mic. So I just started the reinforcement learning toolbox and the app that comes with it reinforcement learning designer so here you can see so this is just like the deep network designer uh, makes your life a whole lot easier here you have agents environments results preview so let's let's set up an environment so right now MATLAB already comes with a few inbuilt environments. Let's just select one of those. And again, um, we will be writing our custom environment. We, I will try to integrate the OpenAI gym environment we have with this. So stay tuned for that. But for now, just let's just select a random environment. And my goal is in this video is not to solve this environment. I just want to show you what you can do with this app. And then um, we can select an agent so so in this here you can see the agent tab you select a new agent um right so uh, give it a name 
what algorithm you want to apply to ddpg ppo dd3 whatnot so actually um since we since we just did q learning uh, let me select Q learning. So the reason why you don't see Q learning here because this is a continuous environment. If I had selected a discrete environment, you would see uh, Q learning. So if I just uh, remove this and I add discrete cart poll, and then I select the agent that I want, I see here I get DQN, which is Deep Q Network. Okay, so I select this. And then here I can specify, you know, how many hidden units I want uh, for my neural network. Boom. So this basically uh, cre it's creating an agent for my network. Now, of course, I can always modify these networks. I can put in my custom network. I can do lots and lots of things. So, for example, um, I have my agent over here. Uh, I can tune the different hyperparameters, what should be the learning rate, batch size, and the epsilon, epsilon dk, and those kind of options. But when I click on this view critic model, it shows me the neural network architecture for my for my um, uh, deep Q network. So you can modify that. And again, since we've already checked out deep network designer in a different video, um, you can i hope now by now you should know all about how to you know tweak the networks and so on so you can definitely change things you can also uh load in a neural network from your base workspace so if, if you have a network of your own which specifies the criteria of for the input space here uh, you can load in that network and um what else so uh, let me go back and um, so the agent is set up what else do you need I have the environment I have the agent um, yeah so some important things is that the uh, the dimensions of states the observation states for the environment are listed over here and the action dimensions are listed over here so the only criteria for your network is that the input size has to be this and the output size has to be this great and now um, since we have a simple example I can just click on train and I can set what kind of um, how many episodes I want to train for what is the stopping criteria whatnot and then um, more options brings up oh when do I want to save it do I want to save at certain intervals and also I'm using the GPU as a uh, as an environment and then boom train so this makes my life so much easier I don't have to worry about plotting things I don't have to worry about any of that at the very least I just have to the only thing that I can focus on is making my network I can make it longer wider and whatnot so that's the only thing that I have to worry about everything else um, all the back-end aspects of it how to implement learning and whatnot has be already been taken care by this app and the toolbox so um, of course this is doing horribly right now because um, it's in the initial stages of learning and we haven't tuned around uh, we haven't played around with the parameters but um, I just wanted to give you an example of like how uh, this reinforcement learning toolbox and the app make our life so much easier again uh, this is just a GUI app. Anything that you can do here, you can do with command line and there are commands for that. But since this app exists, so why not make use of it? And um, in the future videos, what we will be doing is we will make our OpenAI Gym network. We'll import that environment into this and then we will use um, one of the pre-built networks to solve that environment. So that is a typical workflow of how you would go about implementing reinforcement learning. So uh, I don't want to waste more time uh, because this is going to take more time. So I'll stop this training right now and um, check out my deep uh, deep learning tutorial on MATLAB to just you know refresh how deep learning is implemented and whatnot here. But other than that, I think that's it for this video. 
and I will see you again in the next video. All right, see you guys.